All right, today is the last day for Dia de los Muertos, or Day of the Dead. It's a time to honor family members who have passed away. Jump is celebrating the holiday today with altars, performances, and speakers. Now, Brenda Rodriguez is live from Jump this morning to tell us more about what Dia de los Muertos means to the people who celebrate. Brenda. Well, Justin, Dia de los Muertos is a celebration of life. It is a time to honor your loved ones. Um, and by doing that, you create altars. And that's what we're seeing here at Jump today. Um, in the, on the altars, you have stuff or items that your family member loved. So you honor them by placing them here at the altar. You also see some important elements that help your family members um, join you the day of Dia de los Muertos. And some of those elements have very significant meaning. So I did talk to a local community member um, to tell us a little bit more about what those elements mean. Dia de los Muertos or Day of the Dead is for our pets who have passed away and then we slowly but surely go on to our family members. The holiday is a celebration of life, not death. It's like a family reunion. The two day celebration honors family members or friends who have passed. It's to make sure that they know that we still care about them and they're not forgotten. The holiday goes back to the Aztecs, Mayans and the Toltecs who dedicated the whole month to the dead. It's a really old tradition and it, that's why it's so rich, I believe, because it's that old and we just make sure it's still here. To honor loved ones, families create ofrendas or altars and provide them with what they need for their journey. Some of the main staples include marigolds and then there's water, there's salt um, that has to be placed as well and those all give different little elements. But what do those elements represent? Water so the spirits can stay hydrated, papel picado or traditional paper banners represent wind, Marigolds lead a spirit from the cemetery to their family's homes and representing earth foods that the family member would eat or drink or anything. Dia de los Muertos is well known in Mexico and Central America, but many other countries and states have started adopting the holiday, including here in the Jump State. Whether you grew up understanding and celebrating this holiday or not, it is such an opportunity and to bring people together. I think, you know, we don't all have an opportunity to travel the world and to celebrate this in other locations, but to bring it here. Jump in collaboration with many local families and organizations is hosting their seventh annual Dia de los Muertos celebration. All the performances will be up on the sixth floor in our pioneer room all evening long. The um, jump room will be decked out in artwork from local educators from Melba and Nampa, um, throughout the Boise School District, Whitney Elementary students. Um, and then the lobby, as I mentioned, will be filled with altars for a couple weeks. Well, we talk about honoring the family members and just humans in general, but also this day is very important to honor your pets. And that's exactly what this altar did down here, right next to the sugar schools. And the sugar schools, the significance before uh, of that is just to sweeten up the thought uh, or the idea behind death. And that's what we see down here. Well, up here you have the Katrinas and Katrinas, which is which Jump is also having a competition to see who has the best um, outfit that day. So that's what you see up here and in the corner over there. So you just see all these important elements that make up this altar. And that's exactly what Jump is showing you when you come out here today. Maggie, Justin. All right. And you know what? We asked you to share some of your Dia de los Muertos altars, and you did. Here they are. Take a look as we head out to break. And Go to Jump if you want to check this out in person. Thanks to Brenda for bringing us all Those of this are gorgeous. this morning. Awesome. We will be right back.